Good afternoon and welcome back to Girded with Truth. Thank you so much for joining us once again as we continue our series, Time to Move On. So today we're talking about the pain of the past. First Samuel chapter 16 verses 1 to 3 says, And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill thine horn with oil and go. I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with thee, and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. And call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou shalt do. And thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I name unto thee. So here we are seeing the Lord is telling Samuel time to move on. Samuel was in pain because God had rejected Saul and he was crying over the fact that Saul was now rejected when he was the one who anointed Saul to be king. I don't know which he was crying for more, the fact that the king was not pleasing to God or the fact that God chose someone else. So here we see Samuel mourning for Saul. He's crying over Saul and God has come to him to tell him time to move on. God has come to him to tell him, yes. There is pain in the past because I have rejected Saul, but do not dwell in that any longer. He is telling Samuel, time to move on. Go and anoint whom I have chosen. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 8 says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So here we are learning in Revelation about the new heaven and the new earth. And we're seeing that all things are passed away. And it also said that there will be no more tears, no more weeping, no more sorrow. So it's as if all of our pain will pass away. Everything that we were so caught up in while living upon the earth is passed away because God is bringing new things he is beginning again he is bringing a new heaven he is bringing a new earth he is preparing a glorious body for us and we will have our part in eternity with him but he also says that once we overcome then we will inherit these things and he is saying that he will be our god and we will be his children because he is alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He created time and he will stop time at the appointed moment in time. And he is saying here that yes, there is pain in the past. Yes, while we are on this earth, there will be pain, there will be suffering, there will be sacrifice to be made. 
but he's saying there will come a time when all of this is going to pass away and a lot of times whatever god is going to show us in the future there is a shadow happening earlier so even as this time will come with the new heaven and the new earth and we will be able to move on without pain and suffering god is saying that you have to overcome in this moment in order to get to that moment so yes we may be experiencing pain we may be experiencing sorrow we may have loved ones that have left us we may have had to separate from people we may have broken things happening in our lives we may be broken ourselves in need of being fixed in need of reconciliation in need of so many things but god is saying let go of the pain of the past it is things that were in our past and now we have to stand firm being able to press on not just in the kingdom of god but with the things of god god is telling us right now do not dwell in the pain of the past because it's time to move on we may have lost loved ones we may have had to sacrifice a whole lot we may still be sacrificing we may still have to endure some things but if we let go of the pain of the past and stand in the moment that we are in and move forward then we will overcome and be able to inherit these things that God has ordained for us so God has come to us today to tell us it's time to move on do not let the pain of the past hold you down but instead move forward first kings chapter 19 verse 13 says and it was so when elijah heard it and he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering in of the cave and behold there came a voice unto him and said what doest thou here elijah elijah was wrapped up in the pain of the past the word that jezreel had spoken to him to say that in 24 hours he was he would be dead the belief he told himself in his mind that there were no more prophets only he remained so he decided to hide in a cave he decided to isolate himself outside of the plan of god and god came to him to ask him what are you doing here elijah so just like this god is saying do not let the pain of the past determine where you have settled where you have come to where you dwell and what you do do not allow the pain of the past to direct your life because then the pain of the past becomes your god and god who is lord and savior over your life ceases to exist for you you might think that you are praising him you might think that you are moving forward with him but your past has really become an idol in your mind and you have gone forth believing whatever the pain of the past says instead of what god says but god has come to you today to say time to move on he has said come away from the past and move on so let us continue our journey continue our relationship with god continue pressing forward in the kingdom of god by moving on let us not dwell in the pain of the past any longer yes we are hurt yes we are in pain but through god through christ with god we can overcome and we can move on so let us release the pain of the past and move on today i'm here to tell you it's time to move on declare it speak it forth and do it move on with me as we continue this series this entire week thank you so much for listening have a wonderful afternoon bye